So what is going on guys? This is Ryan here and welcome back to Totally Accurate Battle Simulator. Oh yeah guys, it is back once again. We played the heck out of this game in the past and now they've revamped the entire thing. This is now a completely open alpha guys. All you've got to do is if you want to play this yourself is check the link in the description down below and pretty much sign up for the alpha and they'll just give you it. Literally, they're just giving you this amazing little game. And I think the story mode has been completely revamped with brand new levels and the amount of troops in this game guys. Well, it's just scary to think about how many new variations there are. Let's jump into this. So play, we have the 20 levels. Again, let's start with level one. Just look at this. Everything has changed compared to what it was before. I think how it works now is that along the top, we actually have the different categories of units and they have, wow. This whole thing has literally changed so much. So we've got Vikings. We've got a headbutter, a Viking himself, a spear thrower, and an axe welding maniac, maniac, I'm, I'm sure. sure. Then we've got all the footmen, the archers, ballistas. So it's all separated now into separate categories. And also, I guess, content as well, <laughs> and miscellaneous. We've... 10,000 super peasant? What the freak? A dark pe... All right, we're gonna be having fun later, guys, for sure. For now, though, let's figure this out. So we have 500 money. To be honest, the headbutters sound pretty darn awesome. So we're gonna lay quite a few of these around. I'm gonna dot them around like so, in fact. You know what? Let's just do a full field full of them. So let's start this up, and now let's see what happens. So here we go, men. I see why they call the headbutters now. <laughs> oh my god! You can also do slow motion now as well if you actually left click. So here you go. Or oh, actually, it's right click, but I've got a left handed mouse, so it's all weird, pretty much. Just this dude left now, I think. Is that them all done? So we've just beat him down. Who's left? Oh man, just look at them jumping into it. <laughs> There's a reason I love this game, guys. That was it right there. Now we've got 1,000. I think it's going to be roughly the same guys again. So we've got Crusaders. I kind of want to try something different just to see how really they're going to respond. Ooh, the thief. Okay, they got 150 health. I love how everything now has like a health meter so you can know how much you've got to do to try and kill them. We'll dot a few of these guys around. Let's try and vary this one up a little bit. I want to try these spear throwers out. We'll stick about four. Let's do five of those at the back right there. Then let's go over to Asia. Let's see what they've got. They've got Taekwondo, Samurais, Ninjas. I'm about those ninjas, guys. I just got a picture of a shuriken, darn it. If they're not throwing shurikens, I'm going to be disappointed. So let me just see how these ninjas work. They... Look at this guy. It's a savage. It's a complete savage. I gotta see this in slow motion. Oh, wow. They really do throw shurikens at them. <laughs> that is amazing. And then the thieves are actually doing a really good job. All right, guys, now it looks like they've upped the ante as well. They've got shielders and also what appear to be samurais. So let me see. What do we got? I'm gonna go into the miscellaneous compatriot. Sorry, I had to stop speaking. We've got Hillary and also Trump. We've got the chicken man as well. Should we just put one of those down and see how he does? He should do a good job, in fact. Let me just get rid of him right there. I'm going to put him right at the back so we get some load of chickens laid before. Then what we're going to do is we are going to go for a load of distractions. So back in the miscellaneous, let's go for quite a few peasants dotted around right there. We'll get some archers in at the back as well. Okay, that looks pretty damn spicy. Spicy? We've got the chicken man at the back. Now the chickens are doing their thing. They know what's going on. They are rolling to the battle. This could be a tough one, to be honest, if the chickens don't get behind the shielders. Let me just see here. They're doing a pretty good job so far, although a lot of these guys... Oh my goodness, why did my own archer just shoot my... Is he dead already? He's dead already. Oh no. Oh no. If those guys have shields, we want to try and break down those shields and then get through. The chariot always did a completely fine job of that. Oh my goodness, is it... It's a reindeer on a sleigh. The Samurai Master. I'm sorry, guys. I am like a kid all over again. There's all these new units. How can you not try them out? Okay, what's this one here? A barrel roller. It's going to be done right. We are starting this one ASAP. So, firstly, we've got the guy on the sleigh. Rudolph, you are doing a fine barbaric job, my friend. You have really upped the ante since just delivering presents to children. And I want to see this. What have I done? What have I done? That was incredible. He blew up. My chariot, but that was so worth it. Here's the samurai master. Oh my goodness. Is he burnt? I think he's actually just burnt. <laughs> so the units can now get burnt as well from fire. That's incredible. So it's now just the samurai master versus the... <laughs> samurai master is insane. We're going one ninja master and one samurai master. So let's start this battle. Oh my goodness. Look at this. Sa this guy is a savage back here. <laughs> oh my <laughs> This is hilarious. Look at the samurai master doing work. He's still alive back there. I can't believe it. Oh, he's dead now. That's a shame. He is a complete savage. He's going to kill it. He's going to kill it all. It's, it's done. It's a done deal, man. Just walk away. Walk away. I've told you once. 
I wouldn't tell him again. All he had to do was walk away. Now they've got catapults and such, so we can't just rely on like one or two set units because they will get killed pretty damn fast. What I'm actually thinking we're going to do now is firstly, I want to try out the cannon crew. Then what we need is quite a lot of distractions up at the front so that the catapulters are very varied with their shooting. We can go right the way across the field right now. So that's exactly what we are going to do to keep everyone else occupied. That looks about good to me. I've got to get some Taekwondo dudes up here as well. So we're going to put four there. Perfect. All right. So let me just see what else can we use? I want to try some different things again still. In fact, no, we're going to go for the thieves because they did a fine job last time. We've got two cannon crew at the back. He is, wow, look at the effects on that. That looks awesome, man. So he's taking shots and you can see he's kind of hitting. Only kind of. Let me see that again. No, he's missing. Okay, we're not going to watch him anymore. All the units are now down. So now it's only one cannon. Or is the other one? No, the other one is definitely broken. Just saw that happen. Uh, I don't think it's enough. I don't think it's enough. If you're looking like this guy here, he's... F yeah. Didn't think so. All I need to know is what, what does this guy... Oh my goodness. Are you kidding me? You've done it. You've done it, guys. Come on, Napoleon. Give us some luck right here. Let's go all out barrel rollers. And for a bit of a distraction, let's just put some clubbers around here. Go, get them, get them, go. Slow motion, slow motion. Look at him running on that barrel like a freaking professional. Okay, man. Okay. Wow. Wow, explosions in slow motion. Here we go. Here we go, man. Wow. But the problem is that I wanted them to get to the back before they blew. And that one again. All right, guys, I'm going to try a complete... Wait, what if I put him in the... Tr okay, that's not a good spot. <laughs> I've put two of the barrel rollers right there. We have a chicken man at the back behind a rock, so hopefully he can get some of the chickens out before he gets killed. And then we have a load of headbutters right up the front. Let's start this one up and let's see how this one works. Barrel rollers are further back. Hopefully they will not get shot instantaneously. And the headbutters can do some of the work. Wait, hold on. I think they're all dead again. This is... Ah, uh, this is not going to work, is it? Yep, Okay. Okay, I see. I understand. So now the chickens are doing their thing. We've got a load of chickens on the field. If he does not get hit that many times, I just can't get the units up enough. Like, the chickens are so focused. Do they not actually go for these? They weren't going for them. Look, the chickens are just completely stationary past a certain point. We're going to put a shuriken master on this side here. Hopefully he can get round in time. I highly doubt it. Let's get some archers as well. We'll put only like three of these each side. Let's see how this one pans out then. So we have a load more characters spaced out a lot on the field. It looks like initially it's working. These guys are only shooting in a dead straight line right here. There's the shuriken master doing his thing right there. He's killing off the troops in time. Oh no, come on guys. Do not shoot the shuriken master. Let them go through the back. What are they doing? That's two in the same. That could not be accidental. This is looking good. Come on, Shuriken Master. Look at him go. There we go. That is what I'm talking about, man. And now we've advanced to the next level. This one's much more tricky. I'm going to try this one here. If we get this first try, I'll go on to the next one. But if not, I think we'll try and beat this one. And then we'll go into some custom variations. Right, let's go for a load of Shuriken people right at the front there. I think they're actually able to break through the shielders. And then what we're going to do is we're going to put a chariot right in front of them. And I can't afford it. Cool. Delete those two. Then he can go right there. Okay. And I just realized if you press F, you can actually go into free cam. So you can fly around the unit before. So we can get some pep talk right here. Okay, then men. You know, your duty right here, you are to serve me, and you are to kill these guys. What they've done, that doesn't even matter. Don't even ask questions, just, uh, just do it, please. Hopefully, he is going for the units I hoped he would. He's taken out a few of the shielders initially. You can see those flying right there, and then we've got the shuriken dudes coming in from the back. I think these units are more effective than the archers, if you look there. The units, they are getting up, granted, but barely, to be honest. I think we've got this one in the back. We've got a load of shuriken guys left, and literally, like, they're all dead. We did it! I actually got through seven or six of the levels so far. That took me a lot longer than last time. Now we're going to go into the sandbox and look at the variations of units because there's some in the miscellaneous that I'm dying to try right here. We've got the Hillary unit. We've also got the Trump unit, the M16, the Super Boxer, the Chicken Man Man. Well, we know who that guy is. The Super Peasant and also the Dark Peasant. What the heck does that even mean? I think it's time to find out. We'll put a dark peasant right there. And what the freak? Let's go into free cam right here. So, oh my goodness, check these guys out. They know what business is down, guys. Holy crud, what the freak? They are 20,000. Let's put them against, let's say, uh, let's go four super peasants. And we're going to start. So what? <coughs> Whoa. We're going to put loads of super peasants around because they literally have no chance right here. So, oh my goodness, check these out. They are not even able to kill them. This is unbelievable. Look at this. They just ascend. Like, check this guy out here. He doesn't even know that he's floating right here. Look at the glow in his face. He's just levitating right here. What the heck? This, these guys are nuts. 
They are actually nuts. Are they undefeatable? Let's try the icy land, though. Let me see. What can I put against what? Let's try a load of ninja masters right here. Let's go for eight, nine, ten. We're going to put ten of those guys down. Let's try these guys against one, two, three, four, five of the M16 guys. Do they literally have M16s? They literally have uh, M16s. Okay. I got to stop. Oh, my freaking goodness. Oh, my goodness. You have every right to battle chant, my friends. That's freaking insane. What? Some of these units in the game right now are insanely powerful. So the M16s, they just like... Well, they obliterate, quite frankly. So that is 10 M16s right here, and let's match that with three Super Peasants. So now that is an equal spending amount. Let's see who wins this. So these guys, they just take shots like no tomorrow. These guys are about to get blasted off the map before they can even do anything, if you can tell. And the bullets fire so quick. Like, check this out. Now they're going to fall off the map. Like, there, go there he goes. There he goes into the abyss of nothing. And that's it. That's, that's how he falls forever. Same for this guy, too. Farewell. Wait, wait, hold up. Let's hope. There is hope. He's back up. He's actually back. Oh, no. He's gone to... Wow. So let's go for 20 of these guys. I decided to go for 30 instead. We're going to see who's better between the archers and the shuriken throwers. I think maybe the shuriken throwers might be a little bit more powerful because they are slightly more expensive, but we'll try and match how much is spent equally. So the archers have a better range clearly on these guys, which may give them the initial advantage. Oh, but once these guys get in close, they're a one-shot kill. Here we go in slow motion. They're very accurate with the shurikens as well, as you can see. Check this out. There we go. That guy got two in him. I think perhaps the shuriken throwers are going to take this one in the bag again. All right, let's see over here as well. We've got this guy over the top of the mountain. He's holding that as a defense line right there. Will it work? Yes, it will. And these guys just march in from the side and destroy them. They are completely obliterated. So whilst the archers do have the range, it appears that the shuriken throwers are a little bit faster and so can kill them slightly quicker. Let's go for a dark... No, you know what? You know what? No, no, you know what? You know what? That's it. This is exactly what should happen. Here we... Emails. What can I say? She's throwing Gmail mails. Work-related emails. This is insane. Who's gonna win though? It's Trump versus Hillary, man. Who has got this one? Trump's got the guns. She's got the emails. Who's better? Whoa, she fell down. Now we are actually gonna end this, guys. We're gonna put one dark peasant, and I think I'm gonna do him against seven chicken man man. Because the chickens, I think they will be enough of a distraction. You know what? Let's just go for five of these guys. These guys in the last series, they were insane. They were the most difficult unit to kill, and everyone literally challenged themselves to just try and kill him with various units. So if this guy, the dark peasant, can kill him in one go, we have the dark peasant at the back with the fires of hell burning right behind him. As he poops out the chicken man, I wanna see what happens to this dude. So he he is firing those spikes instantaneously. He is getting bombarded right here. Let's see this in slow motion as it happens. He's taking it all. It's not even phasing him. As you can see, oh, it might be, you know, it might be. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. He's literally hiding in the center of all that, so he's not getting hit right there. I don't even know what's going on right here, dude. Is this guy alive? Is this even real life? What's happening, guys? Uh, I think it's uh, probably a good time to end this before my computer dies. Yeah, in fact. Yeah. <laughs> this one should be a little bit more interesting. So the chicken man man are already doing their work. This guy is going to climb over the same rock he did last time. Here come the chickens. They're bombarding him again, unfazed, walking in a completely straight line past them all. So there goes the first one. You can see him right there. Okay, he's coming back out this time, or is he? Does he get himself, like, stuck? I think he does. You can see him, like, walking around the edges, but that's really all that happens. But he does actually win! No way, so he can still kill them. So that's been Totally Accurate Battle Simulator, guys. Hopefully you did enjoy this video. It's insane from right now. There's a load of new units, and the campaign mode, if you want to call it that in the first place, is a lot more challenging. We're going to be, of course, revisiting this one really, really soon as well. But if you guys did enjoy this video, why not drop me that like button? And hey, if you're new around here, why not subscribe for more videos just like this one right here? So thanks so much for watching this video, guys. I, of course, hope you did enjoy. And I will, of course, see you on the next one.